Food prices have never been higher. When we look at the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, it shows that since mid-century, we've never seen higher food prices. When we look at drought in China and high temperatures in Russia, we see threaten, a threatening situation to our wheat production. We see that there's salmonella poisoning in, uh, in our peanut butter as well as in our spinach. There's a real threat to our food security, and people are beginning to become a little bit more interested in what's happening and what's going on. And so when we have a lot of these issues, people have begun to come up with different solutions, well, one of which is urban farming. Urban farming is very different than your community garden. What it is is it means that people are producing food in their backyards and arable land that's available in the city, and then they're selling it for a profit. They're making their living off of this. We see that in Vancouver alone, an incredible surge of interest in urban farms and urban food. When we go to the farmers markets um, in Canada, people spend on average $32 a visit to the tune of two to three billion dollars across the country. People want to know where their food comes from, who their farmers are, and urban farmers are beginning to take part of this as a way of delivering that service. In Vancouver alone, there are 15 urban farmers. 15 urban farmers that provide a variety of services, whether that's through markets or through a program called a CSA, which is Community Sponsored Agriculture. Individuals pay a method up front, and then the farmer here in the city provides for them. Now, there are these 15 organizations, and the city has begun to get interested in increasing the amount of urban farming that's happening in the city. Metro Vancouver has put out a new policy perspective that shows a regional food strategy that includes urban farming as part of this mission. The problem is, we don't know how much food is being produced. We don't know how much money these organizations are able to fend for themselves and to provide for their employees. We don't know how many hours they work or how many jobs they provide. And if we want this to be a real part of our food system strategy, we have to begin to quantify some of these uh, important metrics so we can understand more about what urban farming is in Vancouver and if it provides a real solution to some of the immense issues that are facing our food systems. Vancouver has a very unique opportunity here to show what it means to be an urban farmer and how this can be a viable economic as well as a community building and environmental way that we can produce our own food in the city. The problem is we don't know anything about it. My research focuses on three key issues to this. It looks at economic issues surrounding urban farming, the community building aspects of what's happening in urban farming communities, as well as what the environmental benefits are. What's the fertility of the soil look like for a lot of these areas, and how does the community benefit from these programs? I'm looking at that through the coming season, and I'm excited to begin uh, interviews. I just got my bread application completed, and this summer we'll begin to see some of those metrics and to understand what's happening in Veggie Vancouver. Thank you.